Hey, I'm Joshua C. Newman. I'm working on something really cool that I want to share with you. Let's uh, check this out. This is a uh, an AXO development board. Uh, it's a full voltage controlled, MIDI controlled, uh, arbitrarily controlled synthesizer. Uh, it's tremendous fun. I want to show you how to uh, do some quick patches so that you can get up and running with it. It's um, I have no real relationship with them other than that I think what they do is uh, really, really cool. Uh, so I'll provide a link below so you can go get one on your own um, because once you see this, you're going to want to check it out. It's based on the um, Axolotti Core board, which was substantially larger, has been around for several years, um, and uses a less powerful ARM processor and doesn't by nature take control voltage the way this one does. Uh, this one also uses USB-C because it's a 2020. And uh, that means that it can take, um, it can both be a MIDI controller itself and it can uh, can be controlled by uh, other uh, devices. It has uh, stereo out and stereo in, and those stereo ins can be used for uh, control voltage as well as the outs. Those can also be used for control voltage if what you're doing isn't doesn't itself um, make sounds. It could be a, a low frequency oscillator or something. It also has all these pins here. Most of these, not all of them, but most of them are actually input output pins. Uh, tons of them are analog. So you can see here, I've got a, a couple of potentiometers wired up and I'll show you how to use those a little bit later. Um, uh, so this is just, you know, you can build all sorts of weird uh, devices out of this with, you know, built-in microphones and speakers. Uh, this is this um, this output here is um, amplified, so you can just get straight, uh, you know, plug your headphones into this directly. The other ones are not amplified, and you can do what you want with that. All right, let me show you how to make a quick little patch. It's going to be really simple. Uh, I'm going to be doing more sophisticated ones later on, uh, but I hope you'll join me in it because I really want to see what cool stuff you can build. Oh, if you want to see the kind of thing that can be built with it, uh, Matthew Tias, uh, I'll link to below. I really love his uh, very strange sound and music work. Uh, it's really uh, inspiring. I love his stuff. He's using Axolotti cores, but I expect he will start using um, the Axo sometime soon. All right, so let's uh, put together this little patch. This is a simple little patch. It's just going to show you how to uh, take two inputs, like the, in this case, the two potentiometers that I have plugged in. So we're going to open up the patcher, which will open up this um, uh, console here, and we'll connect to our board, connected to device. We'll put this over here where we don't need it. So when we want to uh, add an object, we just double click and then we can choose what we want. We can go through the whole community uh, set of objects. There's all sorts of stuff in here. But what we want right now is some pretty basic stuff. What we're gonna want is, uh, first we're gonna want an audio out. Oops, audio slash out stereo. We want to use both channels for this one. So we'll take that, put it over here. Now what we want to come out of this is a uh, an oscillator. So I'm going to choose a favorite of mine, which is called Buzz. And, you know, there are triangles and squares and signs and stuff in here too, of course. So we'll take Buzz and we will patch this from here to here. This is the output. And uh, while we're at it, let's give it a listen. Let's uh, let's see. That's going to be over here in the mixer. Oh, it's it's uh, really horrible. Let's try switching that around. All right. So what you'll see here is that it compiles over here. There we are. That's what we'd hope. All right. So if we we can change the frequency here, change that just by dragging up and down on the on the knob. We can change the timbre. But of course, you know, whatever, that's not that interesting, right? Let's put this in the middle for later, 32. Set, yeah, one's fine. 
All right, so let's turn off live so we can edit it some more. Now what we want to do is not just uh, change these in the interface, we want to change these with the uh, controls that we're building into our, into our musical instrument. Uh, so that's the two potentiometers that I've attached. So let's take some GPIO ins, GPIO in analog, reads an external analog voltage, and we'll run that into the pitch. And to see what we're doing, we're going to look for a dial. This is a polar dial, P instead of B. B is bipolar, P is polar. And there we are, we want a display dial. So we'll take this and we'll put this over here just so we know what it's attached to. So that our dial is going to both display to us in our interface what it is, and that's just for debugging purposes. And it's also going to change the pitch. And then we're gonna copy and paste these over here because we want another one just like it that affects timbre. So let's see. Oh, and these are, uh, let's see, uh, ADC one in zero. We want the other one to be on in one because that's where I plug them in on the uh, on the board itself. So let's take that live and see what it does. Ooh, that's a horrible sound. Let's turn the pitch down. That's what we like to see. So I think that pitch is starting off too high, so we're gonna center it down here somewhere. Yeah, that's about as high as we want to go. Maybe we'll turn down even more. See how low it can go. Yeah, down there to those weird sounds and then The top one is jittery because of a bad connection in my uh, cable. It's not, I'm not telling it to jitter in any way. So there we've got our, uh, our uh, uh, first oscillator set up. Uh, we'll be coming back later to add voltage control and other oscillators and all sorts of cool stuff like that. Uh, you might want to subscribe or uh, check me out on Patreon. That's uh, patreon.com slash Joshua. because I love doing this stuff. And if you're interested, you're gonna like other things I do too.